Hi booktube! It's Missy and welcome to Vlogmas Day 19! Yay! I skipped um, day 18 because yesterday I actually filmed a puppet show for my son and I spent all night going through all of the takes and editing that. That took forever and so that took up day 18. I did film! but it just wasn't book related. So I do apologize. So welcome to day 19. And by the way, you see my duds here? Is that what it's called, duds? I'm so old, I don't even know the lingo anymore. This is the only flannel I own. And today was Western day, and so I had to wear this shirt. Again, I don't have very many shirts, especially like work-related shirts. And so I feel like I wear the same stinking thing every single day. And I don't own a cowboy hat, so it's, I had to wear my cloche. And I guess it looks okay. I don't know. What do you think? Does this look like Western attire? <laughs> I'm a cowgirl, y'all. Not really. Anyways, let's get started. Today's video is going to be my Christmas book tubathon TBR slash my Whitney's readathon called the hashtag Cramathon TBR. The um, all the links for the book tubathon, which is hosted by Ariel Bassett, will be down below, along with Whitney's channel and her explaining what the Cramathon readathon is down below. So let's start with the dates of these TBRs. For the Christmas Book Tubathon, it starts today. It started at midnight, and I'm behind already. Um, it starts today and ends on Sunday, so it's three days long. There are four challenges that you can participate in. The first challenge is to read a book with red and green on the cover. I have chosen to read, without glare, let's see. The Cure for Dreaming by Kat Winters. This is her second book that she has written. Her first book, her debut novel, was amazing. It was a historical fiction paranormal story. I can't think of the title right now, but I will leave a picture. This book I have been anticipating. It was on my anticipated list, I believe, for September or October. I cannot remember, but the bookmobile came yesterday and they brought me this book and I'm so excited. So, green and red. Yay! The second challenge for the Christmas Book Tubathon is to read a book that you've been meaning to read all year. And that is The Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Um, this also is for challenge number three, which is to read a book that has been gifted to you. I got this book from my BFF for Christmas last year. I asked for it. She bought it for me. I still haven't read it. It's been almost a year. I have a few, I have a week left and then I should have already read it. Um, so this is what I want to get to. These are the two books that I plan on reading during the Christmas book tubathon. The fourth challenge was to read up to three books. I won't be able to read three books because these are both pretty long in themselves. If for some miracle I am able to read these two books, I will just grab a book from my Cramathon TBR, but I don't anticipate that happening because I get distracted easily. So those are the four challenges and the time frame for the Christmas book two or yeah Christmas book tubathon. Now for the second TBR, which is Whitney's readathon, and this is the Cramathon TBR. Um, she also has challenges seven, in fact, and this TBR, this readathon, will be running from tomorrow, which is Saturday, December twentieth, to Wednesday, December twenty fourth. Um, there, like I said, are seven challenges, so let's get going. Okay, so the first challenge in Whitney's Readathon is to read a children's book. Um, I got this from NetGalley. It didn't come with a cover, but it's The Swallow, A Ghost Story by Charis Cotter. I will show you a real picture of what the cover looks like. It is super cute. I love it. And um, I can't wait to read this little ghost story. Plus, 
I got it for free from NetGalley, so I really do need to read this eARC and leave a review on their website. Challenge number two is to read a hardback. Um, when she was explaining it on her channel, she was talking about tiny hardbacks, and I just took it literally. <laughs> Because this is a tiny book. And it's short. It's only 170 pages, I believe. 180. It's 180 pages. This is kind of like a sad story. It says tragic, haunting, and poetic. Um, that's all I know about it. It's by Tracy Porter. Um, this is from my shelf. I'm looking forward to reading it. And so that is for challenge number two. The third challenge for the readathon is to read two books in 24 hours. I decided that I would try out one longish book and one one not so longish book. If that that doesn't make any sense, I decided I would try to read Blackbird by Anna Carey. This is um, under 300 pages. It is 248 pages, which it seems really short. I should be able to get through this quickly. And it's supposed to be scary, I believe, so that's a goodness, right? Those ones usually are the quicker ones to read. And I also want to get to The Painted Darkness by Brian James Freeman. This one is Itsy Bitsy and it is only 173 pages. Um, I can't remember what this is about. I think it's a murder mystery. Maybe. I don't know. Those are, those are for challenge number three. The fourth challenge is to read a graphic novel. So I have Fables Volume 2 here, which is Animal Farm by Bill Willingham, Mark Buckingham, and Steve Lealoha. The first one was about all of the uh, fairy tale creatures that were able to transform into human form. And I'm assuming this one is all about the creatures that could not transfer into human form. Like the three little bears or the three little pigs. Those ones can't change into humans, but they are still fairy tale creatures and they can talk. So I'm sure they're going to be on Animal Farm. So that was, um, that was for challenge four. Challenge five is to read a book in verse. I do not own a book from Ellen Hopkins and the other two books that I own that actually has poems in it is Paradise Lost by John Milton which is way too long to read and Dante's Inferno again which is way too long to read um, and I'm not sure that they're in verse they're just poems but I don't I used to know what these names were called and I have since college forgotten the name of the writing style Anywho, so I've decided to read Sweet Unrest instead. I mean, I know this is definitely not in verse, but we're going to skip that and just read another book. And this is by Lisa Maxwell. This is under 300 pages. It's three... Oh, no. I lied. This is... This is 322 pages. I'm hoping I can get this done. This is a southern uh, gothic paranormal book and that makes me really excited and the sixth challenge is to read a novella I plan on reading Shadows by Jennifer L. Armentrout this is the prequel to Obsidian A hey. well there he is a Lux prequel novella so this just comes before Obsidian I believe it's a story about Damien, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I like I haven't even read the series yet, so I don't even know the character names or anything. I just hear it on BookTube a lot. So that's what I'm going to be reading for the novella. And challenge number seven is to read at least five books. I have seven books here, and then I have two for the Booktubeathon, so that's nine altogether in the next week. I have read seven books in a week before. I don't know if I'll be able to get to all nine, but since I am off of work now for the next month, because that's when school starts back up and my kids go back to school, I will have an entire month to read as many books as I can. And so I'm excited to read these ones. 
If you guys are participating in these uh, readathons, let me know down below what you are reading or link me your video if I haven't seen it yet and commented. I try to comment on everyone's videos that I watch and I have so many um, channels that I'm subscribed to. I sometimes miss videos in the feed, especially if I don't watch for a day because I'm doing other things. I will come back on and I'll try to go through everybody's feeds and I'll miss some videos. So if I've missed yours, I do apologize. I do enjoy re reading the comments and watching all of the videos that everybody leaves because I'm a lurker. And that's it. I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully there will be a Vlogmas Day 20. Maybe I'll do a, like a resolutions. Not resolution. That's... There it is. <laughs> resolution is for... Maybe I will do a video tomorrow based on what I plan on doing on my channel and my reading challenges for... 2015. I already hit my goal of 175 books this year. I was, my goal was set for 150 and I upped it to 175 uh, like a month or so ago and I'm excited that I hit that goal and I will even be more books by the end of summer if I can get through all of these readathons. Anyways, this video is long enough. Thanks again for watching.